Today you will see full creative process from sketch to finished illustration and will learn time-saving methods that will make your Adobe Illustrator workflow dynamic and straightforward. I will show you my favorite tracing method using overlapping and will explain all crucial steps that you will need to make to easily pick colors, adjust them and add shadows. This Adobe Illustrator tutorial can change your workflow completely. You'll finish your illustrations faster and will be confident in each step on the way to finish using techniques that I will share with you today. You are watching TNT Tutorials. Let's move on. Start with rough sketch. Build composition first. Use only basic shapes and avoid details. I draw this sketch in Photoshop, but you can do the same with pencil and eraser. Lightly erase rough sketch and move on with something more detailed. Don't put pressure on your pencil. You must be able to easily erase lines. Play with lines and shapes, don't hesitate to move something or try something completely different. I use no Photoshop tricks here, only brush and eraser. Make sketch cleaner and cleaner. It's time to stop when you see that you have what you wanted and sketch is clean enough to easily trace it in Illustrator. You can download sketch by the link in the video description, click on File, Place and find path to download that sketch. After this decrease sketch opacity, lock sketch layer, create new layer and rename it to Lines. Here's a few crucial pen tool hints that you'll need to trace this sketch. To make sharp corner, hold ALT or OPTION key and drag handle like this. Press A for direct selection tool and drag this dot to round corner. To stop drawing line and continue with another line quickly, hold CTRL or COMMAND and click somewhere. Use direct selection tool to play with handles and move points. Press A to use it. You can draw line first and then edit it with Direct Selection tool. Here's an example of how to do this. The most important pen tool hint for today is overlapping. All lines must overlap. Overlapping is crucial for today's method, so make sure that you will trace everything like this. Create line. Hold CTRL or COMMAND, click somewhere and continue. You can do it really fast. Take a look on how I do this to avoid mistakes. I also don't recommend you to skip, because I will still be here and will explain everything. Press C for scissors tool and simply cut lines like this. Hold spacebar to use hand tool and navigate through workspace. Press M for rectangle tool and use it to trace simple shapes. Don't forget to round corners. Press Ctrl plus Z to undo 
and try a combination that will work for you the best. Hold Alt or Option key and use Scroll to zoom in and out. Hold Alt or Option key and drag object to duplicate it. Hold Shift also to move it straight. Then you can right-click and reflect it. Here you can press L for Ellipse tool and then edit it using Direct Selection tool. You should have this result. All lines are overlapping. Let's continue. Press Ctrl or Command plus A to select everything, then Properties, Pathfinder, More Options, Outline. You will need to adjust color and stroke width to lines again. After this, right click on Lines and select Ungroup. Then deselect everything. And you are ready to delete all unneeded lines. Pick them with Selection tool, hotkey is V, and press Delete. You should have this clean result. Now we can add colors. To be able to do this, duplicate Lines layer and rename it to Lines Backup. Make Lines Backup layer invisible, open Swatches panel and pick any color. Press M for Rectangle tool and draw huge rectangle. Bring this rectangle down. You can press Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus left brackets to do this. Press Ctrl plus A to select everything, then Properties, Pathfinder, More Options, Divide. Deselect this object. Then select it again and press Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus G to ungroup everything. Make Lines Backup layer visible and delete unneeded areas with color. Press Shift plus O to edit artboard. You can change proportions if you want. Then hold Alt or Option key and duplicate artboard a few times, like this. After this, click on Window and select Color Themes. Press Explore and search for color combinations that you like. Don't limit yourself, you can also search for color combinations in Internet. When you'll find colors that you like, add them to swatches. Then simply pick needed shapes and apply colors. You can add more color combinations to swatches and try them. You should have a few color combinations applied to choose the best of them. I will use this one. You can download it by the link in the video description. Then open Swatches. Click on this little menu. Open Swatch Library. Other Library. And find path to downloaded swatches. Let's press Shift plus O again and delete unneeded artboards first. Then press V for Selection tool and delete all these color combinations. Now it's time to add shadows. Here's how you can easily do this. Double-click on object to isolate it, pick color for shadow and draw it. 
Then select Object and press Ctrl or Command plus C, Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus V to place Copy on top. Then select Copy, hold Shift, select Shadow, right click and select Make Clipping Mask. Now you can double click somewhere on the workspace to exit isolation mode, press A for Direct Selection tool and Edit Shape in Clipping Mask. To add more shadows to this object, double-click on this shadow. You're in Clipping Mask mode now, and you can add as many shadows as you want. I'll show you how to use this method on different shapes. Let's use the Blend tool to create steam. Create two lines, then press W to pick the Blend tool, click on first line and then on second line. Press Enter, select specified steps and change value to something like 50. Your value can be different. Then select only second line and change opacity to 0%. After this, use Direct Selection tool to move points like this. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below, let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important, by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest interesting tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you will click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos!